What's up guys, welcome back to another video. As promised, today we are going to be going over how to do the custom background music for your Twilight menu so that you can go ahead and have a fully custom background with music completely, completely customized for your preference. The things we're going to need, as I will always start with, is going to be your micro SD to USB adapter, your SD card, and if you're using a DS Lite as opposed to a DSi, an R4 card. Now, to get started, we're just going to go ahead, plop the SD card into our adapter, and then throw it into our laptop or computer of choice, and we're going to go ahead and instantly cut over to the laptop view, because that's where all the magic is going to be happening. Okay guys, so now that we are at our laptop or computer, we are going to need two things in addition to the SD card that is plugged in to the laptop or computer. Those two things that we are going to need is going to be this app called Audacity, which I will leave a link to in the description, and an MP3 file of your choosing that is going to be your background music. Now from this point, we are going to open up Audacity, and click out of that, come over here and click on File, and Open. Then you're going to want to find the MP3 file that you are going to use as your background music, and go ahead and open that up into Audacity. Now, if you have two sound waves like I do, this is because your audio file is in stereo, which is not going to work for this. So what we're going to have to do is come and click on tracks, click mix, and then mix stereo down to mono. This will turn it into a mono track, which just means one, you know, one track. And then from this point, now that we have our mono audio, we're going to come and click on audio setup and then audio settings. Now from this point, I already have it set, but you are going to have to change it. You're going to come down here to quality where it says project sample rate. You're going to change this. It could be anywhere, but you're going to change it down to 1600 hertz, 16,000. 16,000 Hertz and then change your default sample rate to 16,000 Hertz as well and then your default sample format needs to be set to 16-bit from this point you're going to click OK and you're almost done at this point because then we're going to click on file export audio export to computer and we are going to change this file name to bgm.pcm.raw. At that point, you can go ahead and go to your folder. Now, we're going to go ahead and go right back over it. So, you have your removable disk. You're going to go to the NDS file. You're going to go to the Twilight menu file. 3DS menu, themes, find the theme that you're going to you know, be working on. In this case, we're doing the same one from the last video. Going to click on that, and you're going to want to create this folder titled sound, all lowercase sound. And then you're going to drop this file in there. So you're going to go ahead and click save, but then now that you have your destination path, you're going to come down to click Format. It could be set to MP3, it could be set to a WAV file, it could be set to anything, but we are going to click on Other Uncompressed Files. From this point, make sure that it has mono channels. The sample rate, we're going to drop this down to 16,000. The header needs to be RAW and then your encoding is going to be set to signed 16-bit PCM. You're going to go ahead and you know, leave this as entire project, mine are grayed out, but 
yours might not be and from that point you can go ahead and click export and now go ahead and exit out of audacity because you are done with everything that has to be done on the laptop or computer so now we're going to go ahead and cut back to the desk view and show you exactly how to go ahead and make sure that the audio is playing the correct way from these themes so now that we have the audio file in the sound folder of the themes folder we can go ahead and remove this SD card drop it back into our R4 if you're using a DS Lite or if you're using a DSi just drop it back in the DSi and we're actually going to do all of this completely on camera make it a little easier to follow along I have changed my settings in my Twilight menu so that we're going to do a full walkthrough of the settings to make it you know, a lot easier to follow in case your settings are out of whack. So currently what I have is just the standard 3DS theme. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the settings button. Come down to theme click on that go down to whichever theme that we are going to be using in this case it is the Frutiger Aqua and then this is the most crucial part and this is where I messed up a few times you have to come down here to DSI slash 3DS theme music and you are going to want to click that A button until it says theme at that point it's going to use the audio file from the theme as opposed to any other audio file within Twilight menu once both of those have been completed you can go ahead and click B and it will go ahead and load into your custom theme and your background music will start to play now we're going to do a quick listen test so that you can see exactly how it's working. So as you can see, our music that we imported has been completely put into the background of our theme. And from that point, you're done. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off close it up and thank you for uh, for watching another video go ahead and be sure to like subscribe leave a comment ask any questions I'll be more than happy to go ahead and answer those for you and until the next video thank you for watching